you're here. Hello, I'm Dr. Fly. I heard you wanted to learn more about forensic entomology. So let's get started. Forensic entomology is the study of insects and arthropods that are involved in medical legal investigations. But when did it all start? It began in 13th century China with Sung Zhu. In his book, The Washing Away of Wrongs, Zhu recounts how he succeeded in obtaining a murderer's confession with the help of flies. More than 600 years later, a French entomologist named Menin published a book called La Faune de Cadavre in 1894. It became one of the most important guides in forensic entomology. Following that year, Numerous studies in this area were conducted to further establish forensic entomology as a legitimate field of criminal investigation. In the early 21st century, further studies in this field worked to improve the utility of forensic entomology in medical legal investigations. With that being said, you must be wondering how forensic entomology can be applied in criminal investigations, right? Let's imagine a scenario. Two hikers reported that they found a woman's body in the jungle. When the police arrived, they found that the body was covered with numerous maggots and pupae, so they collected the specimens and sent them to the laboratory. The body was then moved to the morgue for autopsy. While the examination was being performed, the police questioned the dead woman's husband and found that his statement was very suspicious, so they proceeded to search his house and car. They couldn't find any evidence in his house, but the search in his car trunk was successful. They found a pupa and a backpack in his car. His backpack contained his personal items and a dead adult fly. Both pieces of evidence were collected and submitted to the lab for analysis. According to the forensic entomologist, the pupae found on the body were similar to the ones in the suspect's car and they belonged to an indoor fly species called Synthesiomyia nudicida. This suggested that the woman was killed indoors and then dumped in the jungle. Meanwhile, the other fly found in the backpack belonged to a jungle species, indicating that the suspect visited the jungle recently. This evidence implicated the husband in the death of his wife. Apart from that, the forensic entomologist also used succession data along with decomposition stages of the dead body and finally fly developmental data for the estimation of the minimum post-mortem interval or time of fly colonization. Supported by this entomological evidence, the suspect confessed and was convicted. That is an example of how forensic entomology can be utilized to solve a criminal case. I hope you have enjoyed this lesson. Have a nice day!